Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Well, global markets are a little bit um, flat today after coming off late in the session. Um, Chinese PMI came in a smidgen above expectations, but things aren't looking too good. Factory orders, uh, even though they were, uh, they were positive, um, they just came in slightly above 50. Now below 50 is known as a contraction. Um, so the rally seems to have the danger of running a little bit of steam. I'm looking at some of the European markets such as the Germany 30 and the UK 100 and they're coming off a little bit this morning as those markets just begin to open. So US 30 trading between two ranges 16401 and 16598. Um, but pressure seems to be coming in and we've got a whole host of um, Eurozone PMI data today which I think will be very keenly watched. As a matter of fact, it's, it's, it's coming in very, very shortly from the time of this recording. So you've got German PMI 830, European PMI 9, UK re retail sales and then US jobless claims and then you've got even the Eurozone CPI as well. So actually you've got a whole raft of data today. If traders were looking for an excuse to um, to bail on this uh, on this equity rally, if all those um, PMI figures disappoint, then that's gonna be your reason. And just keep your eye on the uh, on the Euro as well. Uh, Euro dollar will be keenly in focus um, because of obviously the Eurozone um, interest rate cut that people keep on talking about uh, are probably going to be more more prevalent. So moving on to the uh, UK 100, we've reversed below uh, 63.90, next potential support is 62.70, negative yesterday, negative again today. We are currently trading at the at the low of the range, obviously the UK market just opened, at, well it's 5 past 8 UK time right now, um, and the technicals, well they have obviously come off from being uh, given buying signals but you know we've already had a decent rally so I think you know, it is all about the fundamentals today and we need to see what these Eurozone uh, uh, PMI data figures are going to be like. Moving on to Japan 2 to 5, so dollar yen has been slowly moving up overnight so that should be providing a little bit of support so you can see Japan 2 to 5 actually edging higher. That's obviously decoupled from the rest of the equity markets that are moving lower this morning but that's specifically yen weakness helping um, their exporters repatriate funds back or their profits are much better. So potential support 14.977, next potential resistance 15.488, but we do have a death cross in moving averages and a couple of positive technical signals there in the MACD and the slow stochastic. Um, but really with dollar-yen, if the dollar keeps on advancing against the yen, it will support Japan 225 even in the face of other global equity markets um, selling off. So crude oil got absolutely smashed yesterday uh, as well. Um, it's in the back of the crude oil inventories, came out much bigger than expected. They were expecting about 2 million uh, in storage, but actually it's about 7 million. Um, and obviously you've got the usual global demand fears, so uh, it's probably only a matter of time before we start to eye up $80. We're obviously very close to there right now, 81 spot 10. The next potential support below that is at 77 spot 40. Technicals are certainly oversold, but there's not yet the signal to, to buy back. In fact, I missed out dollar yen. Let's jump back onto there just now. We are trying to, once again, for probably about the fourth, fifth time, to rechallenge 107 spot 36. There seems to be a bit of momentum behind um, this US dollar uh, advance just now. Um, and especially if we do see the equity markets come off, we will get a little bit of yen safe haven buying, um, which might be able to push it above 107 and give us a technical breakout. But remember, we do have that 55 period SMA around about 108, but still that could be a, a decent opportunity for those, uh, depending on your view on the Japanese yen. So talking about safe havens, gold's not really come through with the goods. Um, as you would expect considering the lack of interest rate rises and that level of uncertainty but uh, we are bouncing around about uh, potential support slash resistance let's just draw it on there a little bit better uh, at 1241 uh, and we've bounced up we landed there yesterday we're still in there again today um, technicals well the slow stochastic is certainly o over uh, bought almost close to a signal to sell however there are a couple of positive technical signals the MACD is just crossing the zero line the RSI shows that there's a little bit of room for, for manoeuvre and we are at potential support. If the markets do come off a little bit, that hopefully should give uh, gold a little bit of, uh, of foundation or consolidation to be able to have a, a move to the upside. But it's interesting that even as equities slide, gold is also sliding. But then again, we do have a bit more rampant USD. So finishing up with Euro dollar and cable, Euro dollar uh, having three real negative days now. Obviously today is just starting but you've broken below potential support, one spot 26.61. Um, there probably is some very short-term 
support around about one spot 26 and we're not stone throw away from there right now you could be looking at one spot 25 as a next potential support level um mac these close to crossing over other technicals are kind of neutral and obviously got all those pmi data uh, results coming out so if they disappoint your dollar is really going to get hit hard if they come in as expected or massively bullish well then things are a little bit different so finishing up with the uh, gbp usd and still having this consolidative base you're probably still looking over the next couple of sessions one spot 60.010 uh, sorry one spot 60.10 and one spot 59.17 as being potential core levels for us to have a look at um, as this cur curvature here begins to get less steep um, but we do have some more UK data due today we've got retail sales 9.30 that might be uh, a catalyst either for a bounce but probably more likely for another excuse to sell GBP USD in the face of that US dollar strength. So we've already kind of covered a, a flavor of the uh, PM, of the importance of today's data, you know, loads of PMI, retail sales, jobless claims, um, uh, CPI for the Eurozone, um, and we've also got um, some more gas storage as well if you're looking at crude oil. Fast forward onto Friday, you've got German consumer confidence and UK GDP, but nothing major US wise, which obviously a lot of people would prefer to look at. Um, so that's where we are today. Make sure you keep an eye on the chart forum as ever. Make insights part of your late going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.